Hey what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and this is Owen do you want to say hi? Yo So I've just done my Sarah's day workout today we're up to week 7 Wednesday week 7 and Owen just went for a run how far did you go? 5 yeah, so that's what's happened so far. I, I was going to vlog that, but then I only remembered halfway through the workout that I was supposed to be vlogging, so here I am. Today is Wednesday, so tomorrow we actually come out of level... Well, we're in three to level two, but I have to go back to Auckland because I have an appointment with the doctor for my skin. So I'm going back to Auckland at like one o'clock today. But before then, I have to have a shower, have breakfast, and I have a Zoom call with my public relations class for like an hour from nine o'clock, so it's currently ten past eight. And then at 12 o'clock I have like a form thing I have to like comment in for one of my other classes for marketing. And then after that I'm going to go home. Which is kind of sad because I've been living with Owen for two weeks. And now I have to go home. You sad? Yeah. Really upset. Sounds it too. <laughs> so that's what's happening. I wasn't really going to vlog today but I thought it was a good chance to give you guys a bit of an update as to what's happening. Boop. I need to go get ready, I was going to be late for this call. So as you can see I've showered and had breakfast, but I now have to join this tutorial. Um, which hopefully will only go for an hour, it was like a two hour slot, but last week I only went for an hour, so... We're going to hope and pray that it is only an hour. For breakfast I had Mama on toast with a banana, and then I also took, if you've seen my morning routines, I took Body Bloom and Vitamin B and Iron. I need to go find the Zoom code. Okay, I'm in my tutorial now. This is Jordan. I'm a potato, by the way. And this is <laughs> Kate, and this is Kaylee, and Owen's playing FIFA. So my call is finished. I don't know if I'll put the clips in that I took. I'm looking really blue. I think this is the lighting. But I was a potato in the group call. I'm going to get questions if I don't see how I did it. So um, you just Google snapcam.com or something, and then you just download it. It's like, so you can get all the Snapchat filters on Zoom and FaceTime and stuff on your computer. I'm pretty sure that works on Windows and Mac as well. I'm now watching Chelsea Satterley's new video. So she is a, another New Zealand YouTuber, and she's collaborated with myself and a whole bunch of other New Zealand YouTubers to make this video, which is New Zealand YouTubers control my day in lockdown. So if I remember, I will link that down below so you guys can go watch that if you want. But yeah, it's got a hope of cool New Zealand YouTubers, um, a few who I haven't actually heard of before, so I've now follow them so I can keep up with them. But I'm not too sure what we're doing for the next little bit. I've got a thing in like an hour and 20 minutes for my mapping class. We... Yeah, good parking. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that is so good. Do you guys... Oh, my phone's on the way. How good. Okay. Anyway, just parked up outside of this house and we got sushi. Not sushi, but um, teriyaki chicken on rice. So I'm gonna eat that and I need to, it's like 10 minutes to 12. Look at that, oh I can't show my car but oh that's good. Close to scraping the rooms but it's good effort. And I need to pick up my car and hit the track but I want to eat this teriyaki chicken first. Oh. Good. <laughs> that was good. Was that good? Are you still going? Still going. <laughs> I've done my thing in my thing for marketing. I just had to like post a response. But it is now six minutes past 12, so I need to just pack my bags and pack my car and hit the road. I'm sad. All right, 12.30, it's time to go home. No, 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 he's going to throw my keys in the river. Can I have them back, please? I can't, I can't show that, because then they'll know where you live. Okay, oh, I'm sorry for eating chocolate, but I made it home like 20 minutes ago. So I've dropped off my stuff and picking up mum and I've got to go to an appointment at the super clinic for my skin. As you guys know, I have psoriasis really bad at the moment. It doesn't really show up on camera, but it's really bad, really sore. This is like my regular checkup. I can actually go in person, which surprised me. I thought it would be like a Zoom call because it was last time like during level four. But since we're level three, they're like, hey, you can come in and see us. So that's what I'm doing. It's just like a general checkup because I've been on this like new medication, like this injection now for two, no, nearly two months. So the first five weeks, you take one dose a week and that's called your loading dose. And then after that, you go into monthly doses. So I'm about to take my first monthly dose today. So it's been a month since I last had a dose. So my skin's really bad at the moment, but mum's coming. I haven't told her I'm vlogging, so... 
I just thought I'd better get you a letter because there might be a bit more of a uh, rigmarole yeah. getting in. Mum's here. I'm vlogging today, by the way. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going, otherwise, we're going to be late. <laughs> we are going to be, gonna be late. They're always running behind anyway, so it's fine. So obviously as you can see I'm back home now in my room. I got back from the super clinic. I also had to get like a nice blood test and they took like seven vials of blood for like the medication one. So that's really fun. Sorry if that grosses you out. But I'm home now. I need to unpack all my stuff. I literally looked like leaving Owen's place. It like looked like I had been staying there for like three months. But that's okay. Before I close this vlog, because I've got a bit of study to do, because my tutor for my class for public relations. Oh, this is a really awkward angle. That's not going to work. Why does it go dark? So, for my class this morning for public relations, which is the one that I was the potato in the group chat for, we got an online test tomorrow at 10 a.m. and the tutor said, I trust you guys have been studying and like if you've got just a little bit more time to spend studying please spend it looking over the lecture like notes and stuff and I was sitting there like am I the only one who hasn't started studying and I don't think I am the only one who hasn't started studying but I do need to start studying for that because it's worth like 15% of my overall grade so I need to like stop being so chillax about it and actually put a bit of effort in. If anyone's wondering, my appointment went great. He's happy with my skin. He's given me stuff to treat this, so we're doing good. Before I close this vlog, I do want to give you guys a bit of an update because this video I'm filming today is Wednesday the 13th of May. So tomorrow, or was it tonight? Might be tonight actually. At some stage anyway, the country's moving into level two. So we're in level three at the moment. So we're moving into level two, which basically means I can move back to university but not the classes won't be happening but I can actually move back into my room there so I won't be able to go to like lectures or tutorials it'll still all be online but I can at least be there with my uni friends so I'll be moving back there on Monday so this video will come out on Saturday so on the Monday I'll be moving well hopefully Monday I'll be moving my stuff back into uni which I will be vlogging um, and I'm actually looking forward to it because if you guys have been around here for a while you'll know that I vlogged when I first moved into uni on the 22nd of February and little did I know I've been moving out like four weeks later, I'll be able to now record it because I know everyone now, like more, most people I know. So I feel a bit more comfortable about vlogging out in public and people will probably be a bit because now they know who I am as well. So it'll be a little less stressful to vlog out in public. So I will vlog that and it will hopefully be a bit more in depth than the last move in vlog where I was like, okay guys, I'm moving in today. And then like next clip, okay guys, I've moved all my stuff and now everything's sorted, okay, end of vlog. That sucked, so I'm hoping that that will not be the case with this vlog on Monday. I'm not too sure when I'll actually be going back to Hamilton, I don't know, because my stuff won't all fit in my car, so I don't know how that's going to work. My parents will either help me or... Anyway, I don't know what the plan is, and you'll find out in the next vlog what the plan is. I kind of do want to close this up here, because I am just going to be studying, and I don't want to be distracted. But while I'm here, I will do a bit of a plug for my selling account on Instagram, which is ESTC underscore selling. It's my selling page with my friend Tia Campbell. And we just post stuff up there like every now and then. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a massive, like, wardrobe, get rid of stuff I don't wear. Because I have way too many clothes. And I've also done, I've ordered $340 worth of online shopping. I haven't ordered any online shopping the whole time I've been in isolation. And the other day I just flaked. And I was like, you know what? I'm moving hard. I'm gonna treat myself. And so I did. And now I'm like, so a few of the things have actually arrived already. So I got this scarf from Glassons, which is really cute. Mini haul right now. This leather jacket, which is also from Glassons, which just looks really hard to show stuff that's dark colours on the camera. And then these boots, which I think, Rachel, if you're watching this, I think you have the same the boots is me, the Rachel, my neighbour at uni, and she used to work at Glassons, and her wardrobe is like, my dream. I've had to borrow stuff from her wardrobe, so, she's like my lifesaver. In fact, we have like, our group chat at uni, myself and four girls, five, six, oh, I don't know, there's a few of us in there anyway, it started as three, then I jumped in, and then two more jumped in, so what's that? six of us group is called extra wardrobes because basically we're just each other's extra wardrobes but it's these boots here my dad said that they look like gum boots i reckon they look pretty stylish because we've booked we haven't actually pretty booked it yet we've booked accommodation to go to queenstown it's start of july so got these and owen's like you won't wear them 
So I'm going to wear them to prove him wrong. And I know that he probably isn't watching this as well, so I can say that. Um, so yeah, boots, jacket, and scarf. I've got like, the rest of the stuff is all coming from Cotton On. So when that comes, if I'm vlogging around that time, I will give you guys a haul. But yeah, I haven't actually sat down like this and talked to the camera in a very long time. So I'm just enjoying this right now because I feel like my content has been slightly, is disconnected the right word, I guess. Like, I've been giving you guys content, but it's just been, like, very clear-cut, like, planned, not very, like, I've been too scared to vlog or, like, whatever. So, try not to be like that because, yeah. Also, I just keep on thinking of stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm almost done talking, um, I hope. But Owen was going through his Snapchat memories today. Like, you know how it comes up with a thing, like, a year ago today, two years ago today, whatever. And a year ago today... It was a Snapchat he sent to me to congratulate me on 7,000 subs. So I think this time last year was when my channel, like, blew up. So if you um, are one of those people who subscribed to me during that time when my channel blew up between when I had 2,500 subs to when I hit 10,000, then comment a star emoji because I'm very curious to see how many of those people still actually watch my videos. Because I feel like that was like a real phase. I, my channel blew up from, I can't remember what video it was exactly, but I'll put a thumb, the photo of the thumbnail here. I'm pretty sure it was like a week, was it a week in the life? Or a day in the life of New Zealand High School? Something like that. So obviously I can't do a video like that anymore because I don't go to school. But I can do university videos. Also I'm getting his questions about whether or not I'll be doing a university advice video. Yes, that is in the plans. I'm hoping to sit down with a bunch of my uni friends from a bunch of different like degrees to get a hope of different perspectives on the topic and I'll get I'll put a thing up on my Instagram story so if you don't follow me on Instagram go follow me on Instagram because you'll get the latest updates but it'll be like a QA and a so I'll get you guys to send in all the questions everything you want to know about uni and I will answer those questions along with everyone else so we can give you guys just like a bit of background information really about uni because for me I found when I was applying and stuff there's not that much information out there especially from like a student's perspective it's quite hard to know what to do without being told by another student so I'm here to help you guys out and last oh, hopefully this is my last one I keep on thinking of things but you guys will have seen on my Maximum Smart Instagram page that I have been saying announcement coming announcement coming and I keep on having to reschedule it I've just, completely canned the announcement because I don't know when it's going to happen now because I was hoping it was going to happen. Basically, let me just uh, let me just give you the real rundown of what is happening with the announcement. You guys, oh, I don't want to give away too much information because I don't know, it won't... The announcement won't have been made by the time this video comes out. I know that full fact. The announcement, I will say, is merch related. So with that, I am releasing new merch and obviously I need to, before I can post the merch and allow it for you guys to be able to buy it, I need to have it to be able to take photos, to put on my website. So everything on my website is is ready to go, I'm ready to post it live, but I don't have any photos. So as soon as I've got the product, I can put it on, I can take the photos and I can make it live to you then and there, which is my plan. And I thought that was going to happen on Monday, like not the one that's gone, but the one before that. So over 10 days ago today, 10 days ago today I thought it was going to be live because my supplier is based where I live. So normally when I get the stuff I just literally I go to the shop and pick it up. But because of COVID and me changing bubbles and stuff I was in Hamilton when it was finished being made. So I obviously couldn't just go to the shop and pick it up. So I said to them hey this is, this is where I am, send it to me, I'll get it, it'll be all good, all sweet. But you guys, if you're from New Zealand, you will know that couriers at the moment are very much under the pump. So there is like a five business day delivery delay on most packages at the moment, which obviously has affected that package. So all I had to do was go from Auckland do, 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 all the way to Hamilton. And apparently that was quite a task for the courier drivers. So I did mention in like the previous vlogs how Owen's family moved houses. So obviously the package I thought was going to take like, you know, five days max. So I said, oh, here you go, here's Owen's address, send it to here, I'll be there, a little sweet, fine dandy. And then when I realised it wasn't going to arrive in time, I rang my supplier and I was like, this ain't going to arrive on time, can I please change the address? And she's like, yep, sweet, no problem, so it was all good, all sorted, and she sent that off to their rep, and 
the rep for the courier company but the courier companies are so out of the pump at the moment the rep was delivering courier packages as well so she didn't get the email so they tried to deliver the package to Owen's old house and the new people living there are like nah like my name's not Emma Stevens like they've moved houses so I checked the delivery like tracking number and the package was in like I don't know what they called it. Some pl uh, basically it wasn't going anywhere and they said to call them. And I was like, well, it doesn't give me a phone number. Who am I supposed to call? So I was like, no, if it's urgent, they will call me. So surely enough, 24 hours later, they rang me and they're like, hey, so we tried to deliver your parcel and we understand you've moved houses. I'm like, yes, that is true. So I gave them the new address and they're like, sweet, we'll have it to you sometime this week. I'm now back home in Auckland. So the package is still getting delivered to Owen's house. And obviously I'm not at Owen's house. And I won't be back there until next week. So that is why the delay is now pushed back even further. But it's not like anyone's fault. Like it's just, that's just how life is at the moment. And I'm not blaming anyone in the situation. That's just how it is. And I want you guys to like, I want to tell you guys how it is so that you understand where I'm coming from. So yeah. And just as I got off the phone with the courier, the my supplier rang me and they're like hey so like we've heard from the courier company i'm like me too this is what they told me it's it's fine so everyone's on the same page now package is getting delivered to owen's house hopefully it'll be there when i go there back to hamilton on monday and i'll be able to post it for you guys on monday i'm hoping to give you guys a few hours warning before the announcement goes up so that'll be on my instagram story and my on both my personal account and the Max on Smile account. So if you want the latest updates, do follow those accounts. And if I think you can turn on story notifications, but on my Max on Smile page, the only thing I'll be posting between now and then will be the countdown for the announcements. So if you want to go turn on story notifications on the Max on Smile page on Instagram, then do feel free because that will then you'll be told straight away when the announcement's going to happen. But yeah, I guess that's all the information I really want to share with you guys at the moment because I don't want to give away everything and I've been talking here for way too long so I don't need to wrap this up. This was supposed to be a day in the life vlog but also the intentions of making this like a life update which is why I'm sitting here right now telling you guys about my life. But the next vlog will be the moving in vlog or moving out vlog. What do I call it? Because I'm like moving out of home but I'm moving back into home. Like... You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying well. Make someone smile. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey, I was looking at it. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry. My hair.